This woman is eating herself out of house and home. It's almost like a treat coming here, like a sweet shop. Quite literally. Happy. It's like a succulent. In South East London, 30-year-old Patrice has a rare eating disorder. So right now I'm picking up her knife to go and dig the wall. It's hard work digging a hole in the wall. So most days I eat brick. Different walls have different tastes and I have preferences as to which walls I prefer to eat. It's meant to go in my mouth, just like any other food. She has the condition pica, which is a compulsion to eat anything that isn't food. This one almost tastes like crushed tablets because it's got like a bitter taste. It can be fatal with sufferers eating everything from furniture to safety pins. It's definitely an addiction. In 15 years, Patrice has consumed a ton of brick and plaster. But the walls in Patrice's flat escape relatively unscathed from her cravings. Her preferred plaster comes from her childhood home. I don't particularly like the brick in the house I'm living in at the moment. So I tend to go to my grandmother's house and dig out her brick. The old type of brick, it's more crunchier and I enjoy the flavour better. Patrice's supplies from her grandma's house are running low. So Patrice has to make a regular two-hour pilgrimage to her grandma's, much to her husband Calvin's disapproval. I've known her since primary school, actually. And then uh, years later, we met back online and we started talking and um, it all went from there. They were a few months into the relationship when Calvin made a shocking discovery. This was in our old place where we was living. There's a hole in our bedroom door where a shelving broke, but the wall was um, broken. I kept it a secret. I kind of did it behind his back. There were a couple holes in the room we were staying in, but he put it down to wear and tear. He didn't know I was eating wool. I tried to open the door, but I accidentally hit her with the door because she was behind it. So now I was thinking, like, what's going on? He caught me with brick dust on my face and a screwdriver in my hand. I've never met or known anyone to eat brick. <laughs> brick is not something you eat, you know? So it was a surprising shock. Well, I'm worried about the long-term effects, like the teeth, for one and maybe possibly hurt her gums or jawline or something, you know, something that it could damage. And then we're, then we're talking lower into the body, you know, into the bowels and whatnot. I mean, it could damage her insides. I feel like I'm getting nearer to home. <laughs> uh, being close to the brick is like being close to home. There's one more thing I need, food bag. bits of brick in there so I can take it home with me. Every week, Patrice makes a two-hour round trip to her grandma's house to stock up on her favourite walls. Quite tricky. I like the take this taste in particular. A bit chalky. Yeah, I enjoy it. It's an addictive, like, crunch. A bit succulent at the same time. And I get this boost, like, I feel better. Once I get, once all the pieces are finished and I get to the bottom of the bag and there's dust, I will eat the dust. So none of it goes to waste, really. I'm happy. Wish I could take the whole wall with me, but there you go. Very comforting. Patrice suffers from the condition pica. 
She started eating plaster in her teens when she was living with her grandparents. And her past could be a clue to what's behind her behaviour. I was raised by both grandparents. My mother was a singer when I was about two. She was touring a lot and she went on to go and start another family. I went through life feeling that I wasn't good enough and that depression turned into an addiction and eating the brick became self-soothing for me, I would say. <laughs> 